what you think the conference here at WFT has achieved and, and what kind of future you look forward to for the movement? In my opinion, the biggest success has been the passing of the, or the acceptance of the GSO guarantee system for members, which virtually then gives us the opportunity to be able to put a label on our products. And that is fundamental when you begin to look at it from the position of the South, because as things stand right now, our groups that produce coffee, that produce tea, that produce uh, cocoa, honey, and handicrafts can't label their products. So you have a situation where the people who produce coffee or tea cannot label it and exploit local markets where they are. The tea or the coffee has to go to Europe, they get processed by a fair trade organization there, get reimported at huge costs, and there's been really no major difference between the coffees that we've been consuming from the Nestle's and the, 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 the coffees yeah, that we've been getting from fair trade. But this actually now opens up fair trade to a whole new frontier, which is actually very exciting because it means then all these huge markets that we've not been able to exploit uh, in Africa, in Asia, and Latin America are now open for business. That our members there can be able to process products, whether it's handicrafts, whether it's commodities, they can begin to exploit this large growing middle class that has remained untapped and give fair trade a whole new frontier for growth. What other, what other significant changes have you witnessed here at the conference? Has been the one great thing has been the, the coming together of people in the north and south to tackle issues that have confronted them, and I've really liked the, the the strong relationships and partnerships they've forged in being able to come up with difficult decisions that would have been much more difficult in other conferences. 